this video in general is just going to be about this little um, Deek robot power supply that I uh, discovered either on Alice or on uh, uh, Banggood uh, a few weeks ago. First of all, I want to apologise about the lack of videos that I've had on here recently. I must admit, I never started this channel to make money and I haven't made any money to speak of from this channel. Um, but the stuff on there, I, I started and started doing the electronic stuff uh, a lot because there was another YouTube user called Dismissed Guy who uh, commented on a video I'd, I'd uploaded for my blog, uh, which was a picture of uh, the light on one of these panels flashing while I was doing the firmware. And I'd accidentally left that public. And he said, why don't you do some decent videos about actually um, putting the firmware onto the monitor? So I decided to do that and I've enjoyed making those videos ever since and I've had quite a few people subscribing. Thank you to everyone who subscribes. Um, so I never set out to make money and um, there was something about the email that I got from the company that where I host my videos, who you'll know who they are, um, saying that due to the amount of uh, um, problems on their service and due to the amount of um, fake users that I was no longer going to be able to make any money from this channel. And um, to be honest, that really annoyed me because uh, money is still to be made. It just doesn't come to me. Not that it ever really did anyway. And so I thought I'm not going to do it anymore. And then after a while, I realised what I do, I quite enjoy. And... Uh, all I'm doing really is is record making recordings of when I uh, do things for and learn about electronics and trying to share it because people might learn from my mistakes or from what what I've bought. But I just wanted to say that, so sorry I haven't done that. If you want to help, just subscribe and uh, maybe you can get me over the level where um, they I might be able to uh, um, maybe earn enough to buy something <laughs> with the money that I make from this channel, uh, which is hardly anything. Over the five, ten years that I've had this channel, I think, I've had it for quite a long time, probably about ten years, um, the bulk of my views came from a video that I did um, with a uh, Ninjago set, which I never made any money from anyway, because I didn't monetize it, because that was never the point. Um, that's something I did with my kids a long time ago. So um, there you go. And the amount of money I have made would barely buy a third of one of the 3D printers that I've, I've put some stuff on here about as well. So um, it's not about the money. It was more about the principle. Anyway, back to what you really wanted to see, not the rant. Hope you've hit the subscribe button if you've done it. This is a Deek Robot DC power supply. Now, I've used these and on my blog I've had I've done something about these little modules which fit on the end of a breadboard and um, give you um, a little bit of power to use on your project so I thought this I think this is Deek Robot I think I've uh, done something else from Deek Robot although that there is U Robot so it's slightly different but it's probably all made in the same factory but I thought this is interesting so here's the box opening can't remember how much this was. It wasn't a lot of money. It was less than £10, I think. I'll put the um, actual amount here in a couple of seconds. And a link in the description, hopefully. So it's quite interesting. You get a nice little box. Uh, Well-made plastic. It looks like there's got a, um, a little LCD panel on it, maybe. Uh, power button... DC 9 to 24 volt volts in. I didn't think about that, so I'll have to find a way of getting stuff into that in a minute. And then USB out, plus and minus, says 5 volt, 12 amp, and then 1 to 20. And there's a little coarse and fine. So it's a bit like a bench power supply, but much smaller. So just looking at the label. It's a mini power supply DK D20252. Input is 24 volts at 2 amp, but we know it can be less than 24 volts because I was putting uh, 12 volts in there. The output is 5 volts at 2 amps and 
1 to 20 volts at 2 amp. Only for use to DC. Designed by Deek. And then you get this with it, which is... Well, this is strange. <laughs> One would think that the little people who make this would have actually crimped these onto the end. But anyway, OK, so it's a do-it-yourself set of uh, test leads. There's the um, barrel connector, which probably plugs into the output. That's the inputs. Oh, there isn't an output. OK, weird. So that goes in there. Hmm. Strange, anyway. OK, so we've got one of those if you want to make it. But this is what I was more interested in. Here's my power supply, which I use for my um, little LCD monitor that I must do, which is here, which I must do an update on soon. But uh, looks like I might get away with that. So let's pop that into there. All right. OK. For a while then, I didn't think that was going to work. That looked... That looked a bit corrupted, but no, it's OK. So it says 500 volt, 12.2 amp. I wonder if I turn that. Oh, yeah. And if I turn this side knob, I can alter the vol the voltage. So it's going without a load on from about 1.7 volts all the way up to 12.2 volts. And then I can, I can't really push it up anymore. So that's quite nice. So um, it's got a USB out. So I can put the 12 volts into that to USB out. Maybe I could have that as part of my little monitor to control my Raspberry Pi. I have a little power supply for that. Take the 12 volt from this lead that goes to the monitor into that. Um, and then use that maybe for little projects. So quite a, actually quite a nice little idea. There's a corruption there just as it turns on. It's a bit dodgy as these, some of these cheap barrel leads are. I um, wonder if I can take it apart. Just check. Right, OK, underneath there. So give us a second. I will just see what's going on inside it. OK, just notice there's some little... Uh, those little connectors there so maybe I could put that in there and power it that way and there's some little uh, um, DuPont connectors header connectors that I could take power off maybe from there let's see what's going on inside actually it was really nice reminiscent of a uh, transistor radio with these uh, little um, knobs on so few chips in there I must admit I have no idea uh, what's going on here probably two different switch mode power supplies because there's two different uh, inductors there and uh, one for the variable one so it might be that incredible chip there that could be a driver for the uh, for this board but um, it looks quite nice really and that's stuck on there Deke robot as well I can't remember what my the Deke robot thing was. Quite nice, really, because you get a lot of these that are bare boards with a display on. And um, it's always a worry that you might accidentally short something out in, in that bit while you're playing with some other um, wires. So it's nice to have something that you can have a little bit more protection on, but have a play with uh, different voltage levels. OK, so that is the DC power supply microcomputer control system by Deek Robot and Durant. Remember, please, if you'd like to help this channel grow, please subscribe. Thank you.